everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 33, and this is war number three. And we're going up against an alliance called Marvel Original Crew. So let's take a look at what they have in store. We're going to do it this way. And who do they have banned? They have Ghost, they have Magneto, and they have Human Torch banned. I don't usually bring those in, so it doesn't really affect me. So let's preview and take a look here. Okay, no one on that first node. I take path three in sections one and two. And we've got Captain Marvel, movie version. I like to take her with uh, Nick Fury, but... I may not bring him. I might be able to do that one with uh, Warlock or Black Widow, perhaps. And then we've got Apocalypse. I could do that fight also, perhaps, with Warlock. But Apocalypse does a lot of damage. And that Strike Counter Fury, along with that, that took me out before so I learned my lesson with that armor up buff so if I'm going to fight I would use Black Widow against him and then we've got Dr. Doom if no one takes that fight by morning, I can do it with Spider-Man 2099. And I usually avoid Mixmaster like the plague. Ugh, Nick Fury on that node. Well, Spider-Man 2099 can do it if need be. But someone may have a better option. Then we've got Colossus here. That's Claire. We've got... Hulkbuster, that's... Claire can do that fight. Warlock could do that fight. And Spider-Man could do that fight. So, that's not a problem. And then Nimrod. This would be the third time I lost twice fighting Nimrod on that node. But Warlock would be the one I took in for that Nimrod. Alright, and we got a Sasquatch boss. Hmm. That could be annoying. Um, this fight here. Uh, yeah, this fight Spider-Man 2099 could do. Warlock could probably do this fight if I had to do it. And Mordo, blah. Um, only Spider-Man 2099 would I like to fight him on that one. Well, maybe, uh, Warlock as well. But then we've got that boss. That boss can be very bad. I haven't fought him with, uh, Spider-Man 2099 before, so... But I heard that uh, folks were timing out against him and things like that. So we'll see. We'll see if I get a chance to uh, do that. So it looks like uh, I'll go in with this same team that I did last time. Warlock, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, Spider-Man 2099. We'll see how well I do against that. Apocalypse. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the only one that they didn't put one there, so I feel like I got to take him. I'll try. I'll try, but that... I have a bad feeling about that. Because of the uh, Furies. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. All right. 
Let's get in here and uh, see how we do. He'll go down, but the question is, how many deaths will it take? All right, uh, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. And I have some interesting fights for you guys ahead. Uh, one of the interesting fights is Nimrod in Section 2. The other interesting fight is the boss. Uh, I do get a boss fight, but more on that when we get there. I actually did this boss live. All right. So in any case, uh, first fight, we've got Captain Marvel, the movie version, which I believe in the game is now just Captain Marvel. But this fight, I was not anticipating any issues. She is annoying at times when she doesn't want to fire her special off. But as long as I can bait the special or just block, we're good. All right. So uh, didn't really have too much of a concern here. Uh, I do not like her um, aggressive style. I really don't. But I know that was on purpose. Uh, but you can see here, she, she's kind of aggressive like uh, Venom. Now, here, once she did that, I knew that I had an AI that was willing to fire their specials. Okay? But baiting out that special one is really difficult at times. All right? None of that did anything, so I'm just like, whatever. I should be able to get her out. And we did. Didn't have to worry about trying to bait that special two out. Um, and she fired the special one. What happens a lot is that she starts hitting into you with these, you know, full combo attacks. And you're like, dash, dash, evade, evade, you know. And then one of the times you'll evade, she'll dash back and fire her special one before you can recover from that evade. So I don't like her when she acts like that. But she didn't act like that this time, so we were good. Now, this fight did cause me a little bit of concern because of the node and because apocalypse he does a lot of damage into your block and this fight is very easy to lose quickly because i don't usually play the node and they just build up furies and he's already a hard hitter okay and so i'm sitting here he's regening and i'm like oh man that's right she doesn't really have um a way to stop the regen but it shouldn't be a, a big issue all right see here i'm blocking him but look at the damage he does a lot of damage and he hasn't even built up all those furies yet so <clears throat> the strategy I usually employ on this node is to finish them off fast but if i have to fight somebody and it's a prolonged type of a fight i'm usually at a, a slight disadvantage all right so here you can see she's got good health but that does not mean i can't die in one attack he gets all those furies up i make one mistake and the fight is over a five hit combo can easily take out all my health one or two hits depending on how long the fight has gone and how many furies uh he's built up all right so i'm just like all right we got to get this fight done you know i don't want to get hit by accident i don't want to get look, look at the damage and that was he didn't even hit me that was all into my block and we got him down that's why i was a little worried about that fight the block damage was just going to keep going up and up and up to the point where I would die without having even gotten hit. If you saw the after fight report, you can go back and look. I didn't get hit a single time and look at my health. So it is definitely feasible that I could lose that fight without ever getting hit. Except, you know, at the end when they finally kill me through my block. Now, um, I didn't have to worry about the middle or that mini there. So I jumped on this Colossus. And normally this fight is pretty straightforward and Claire is still my number one option for this node. But 
because of the defense tactic, unstoppable armor, which I do not like, and there's a reason that you see the majority of folks in war choosing this option. I don't like it, um, but this is why this fight was a little bit dicey. So I have to not just fight like I normally would, I have to keep track of his armor ups, okay? So look, he got an armor up, he could have gone unstoppable, you know? So I gotta keep watching and I might even, I, I've been doing five hit combos, but it's probably safer to do low combos. Um, but once I can get my special two, they um, can't generate any buffs for a little bit. But I still have to watch because the fight can go bad quick. You know, I could be in the middle of my combo and suddenly they're unstoppable and they're attacking and I have no chance to recover or react. And that has happened. So yeah, I'm not a fan um, because it keeps me on edge. I know some people like that about a fight. They wanna be on edge in a fight. I do not. Um, I, I like when I've practiced not to be surprised when I have to do it for real. If I can't practice it, I don't wanna see it. You know, you think about it, you're taking a test. And you studied the test. You studied the, um, not the test, but you studied, you know, the book. You studied, you know, all your notes. And then on the test, you get questions that were not in the book and not in your notes. That ain't cool. Some of you probably had that experience, but that ain't cool. And I didn't like that. All right. So next up, we've got Hulkbuster. Also a fight that I have to make sure I pay attention <clears throat> because he will see me blocking and go right into my block, stun me, and the fight is over. He will do so much damage into my block, it's not even funny. Now, I don't have to worry about her uh, and the explosive personality, because even if I hit into his block, I can nullify. But look at the health. I got back my health. That's why I like uh, Claire. I love Claire. <laughs> she, uh, very sustainable, very useful, and her damage is not terrible. Uh, especially, you know, you boost and, and I'm running suicides. It's not terrible. Now you see, I'm trying to bait out a special of his. All right, there we go. Finally, he decided to fire off his special. Look, there we go. There go that unstoppable. Makes me very nervous and I, I just don't like being on edge like that when I'm fighting somebody that I've fought many, many times before. But you know, people uh, like different things. Look at that, unstoppable. And I'm just like, man, he's just going unstoppable when he feel like it, what's going on? All right, and then here we go. Finish him! And he's down. Now, for the fight that I was telling you about in the beginning. Oh, this was a very, very, interesting fight so if you've been following my wars you know that i have faced nimrod twice on this node and i have lost twice to nimrod on this node the first time i lost it was bad and there goes that unstoppable armor again um which we definitely don't want to see but the first time i lost to him okay second time i had him and got too happy, pushed him, I think, to a special three. So I've lost to him by a special one that I messed, I mean, a special two that I messed up and got hit by it and it took me out. I got um, taken out by him by a special three. So I'm not playing with him right now. I'm trying to be very careful because I'm like, I cannot lose a third time. Folks are gonna clown me if I lose this fight again. So. I got something to prove, all right? So you can see here, he's firing off heavy attacks like crazy. I don't know what's going on with him, all right? He's trying to throw me off my game, that's what it is. And I wanna get the infections up so I can start my attack, all right? And he didn't wanna attack, he just was firing heavies. And then look at that, again, there goes the indestructible. I'm like, really? I just put on the indestructible 
it's gone now. And I'm like, wow, that's that unstoppable armor. I just went in for the attack finally, and he was like, unstoppable attack. I hate unstoppable armor. I really do. All right, so now we've got that special three again. He's getting armor ups again. All right, there he is. Boom, boom. I'm not playing. Okay, and there he goes with them heavy attacks. And he doesn't have infections up. All right, now, got the infections up again, and I'm in the corner. And I'm like, please don't go unstoppable. Please don't go unstoppable. Okay, I am, I am really not liking that unstoppable armor. Okay, and so I'm just sitting here. There we go. Fired off a special one. Not sure if that really helped me. It's unblockable. No! Smack me up. I'm like, wait, why was it unblockable all of a sudden? I don't know, Nimrod. There's another unblockable. I evaded some of it. The first one caught me. I'm like, wow. So this is how they gonna do me. This is how they gonna do me. Okay. That Nimrod is, is just messing me up. All right. There we go. I pushed him to a special two that wrecked me before. Now I can't get hit by that special three because I'll have no invulnerability anymore. All right, you see, I'm blocking him. Look at my health. And there he goes with his unstoppable unstoppable armor needs to go all right we're we're down we're we're like neck and neck okay thankfully that one wasn't unblockable all right so we're going and i'm just like please this cannot happen again this cannot happen again all right so there we go i got the infections up he's almost gone oh no yeah okay blocked all of that we're good we're good right Okay, boom, unstoppable again, no! Oh, oh, I'm like, and I got him. Guys, that was tiring. That darn unstoppable armor almost got me again. You saw that, I was like, no, no, no. Finally, I was with a sliver of health and I pulled it out. Oh my goodness. You talk about some stress. I needed a break after that. I had to go lay down. All right, but now you're gonna see the boss fight and I'm gonna take you over to the live stream, okay? Um, since I did this one live. So we'll be right back. Let me see. So brute force. I don't know. I don't know. Should I should I just jump on the boss? All right, hold on, hold on. Hmm. What do y'all think I should do? Y'all think I should just go for uh, the boss? Hold on. Uh... Because with this much time, even if I have to revive or something, that's fine. All right. They said I should just go for the boss. All right, guys. Give me a second. I need to uh, switch over so I can use this for recording.
Okay, that was a nice learning experience. I didn't die though. How about that? All right, let's see what y'all are saying because I, I learned uh, something I should have been doing. Go for the boss, counter his heavy with a heavy to keep his wrath in check. Yeah, I was doing that. 
do a practice run first always safer if we had more time <laughs> this is not a fair fight another sp2 should do it yeah i should have been going for sp2s after a little bit that's me lord shadow doing good on that fight there uh, after he triggered his regens, you should have went for L2s. Yeah, exactly. That healing. Yep. That healing. Go, Lush Shadow. It's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. Yeah, this Sasquatch is a pain. Feels like Sassy is saying he can do this all day. Nope. I changed up my tactic at the end, if you saw. I was doing heavies, but then I started just building up to special twos, getting the ruptures on them, and then a special two. Build up ruptures, special two. That's what I was doing. Good morning, Shadowverse. What's up, T. Smith? What you missed was a boss fight. What did we learn? When I get him down, because I, I forgot all about the, um, I zoned in, and I forgot about the timer. But um, we learned to, when, when we get him down to the end, cycle uh, special twos. Just do five hit combos, uh, uh, you know, and, and do special twos. Maybe weave in a heavy or, or a attack or two. But you want to build up those ruptures. I saw a great switch up. Hey, Patrick, what's up, man? Yeah, you saw. I, I learned as I was fighting him. <clears throat> like I said, this is the first time I've ever fought Sasquatch. So I'm looking and I'm like, okay, cycling, because I, I don't want to deal with his wrath, right? So, and the unstoppable. So I was doing special threes to get the slow on, but then when I did a special two, I couldn't build up to a special three to get to keep the slow all the all the time on. So I'm just like, ooh, I may not wanna do that then. I might wanna cycle special threes. But once he starts healing, I can't cycle special threes. I've gotta spike the cycle those special twos, get those ruptures on him and do the special twos. All right, so that. that was my first time ever fighting Sasquatch as the boss with Spider-Man 2099. All right, so after a brief intermission, we'll be back and you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back. And unfortunately, we lost this war. No excuse. We just played badly. We died a lot. OK, we died a lot more than they did. Um, so we lost this war. Thank you for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.